Hey guys, so today I'm going to take you along with me. I am getting new bookshelves. You guys know I love these ones. I really do. I love them so much. But I am running out of space, so I need more bookshelves because I'm nuts. The ones I'm getting are getting delivered from Ikea. They're the Billy bookcases. I, I'm going to get the doors with them, but they're out of the doors currently, unfortunately, which is driving me crazy. And they're supposed to be in next week, so... Hopefully they are in next week and I can buy them because I really like the look of the doors on my bookshelves because if I see too much, it gives me anxiety. So, but like the, the tops of these, I'm like, yeah, I can deal with this. Although if you can see, it's a little chaotic right now. And then I am also redoing my, my uh, homeschool area because I'm going to be getting rid of these cube shelves and sticking these there so you'll see that whole process and then i have this armoire here and it's served us so well i'll show it to you this is what it looks like it holds our games and then some like this has like art supplies and then this is just like puzzles and stuff so this thing has been really amazing. I got this for free and then I just added this little shelf here to give me more room. But I'm gonna be putting uh, a Billy bookshelf section right here as well. So it's gonna go from here all the way to here and it's gonna corner here. Also, I'm gonna give you like a realistic uh, look at my homeschool room right now because it is a disaster. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so if you want to see real life, I'll turn the camera around for you to see. This is the current state of my homeschool room. We have just like books and stuff here. I mean, this stuff doesn't look too bad, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much a mess over here. We got a blanket. Someone left here. All of this stuff, you guys, it's a disaster and it's like overwhelming me. And I'm tackling it this week. All right, guys, so the Ikea shelves are here. And these, I also got um, one of these pegboards for my daughter's room. Another bag of, um, this goes with the pegboards. And then these that go on like a little hanging thing. So here are all the bookcases. And I'm like, how am I going to put this together? I don't know. We're going to have to see here. This is how far I have gotten. My house is a disaster right now. I'm overwhelmed. But we're gonna push through and build the rest of these shelves. These are the three I have left. I'm gonna sell these. We got all this. These are built. Here's the mess. And I got books on the other side of this couch, too. Good morning, you guys. Today is a new day. And I changed things up a bit. This, you should have saw this. This was a whole mess. I broke down the boxes, all that. Still got all these. My husband went to Costco, so that's what those are there for. But I'll have to share with you the changes I made. I'm so overwhelmed. So I'm like, why did I do this? <laughs> I get into these things. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta get organized here. And then, you know, it's, it gets messy before it gets better. 
And then, if you hear my kids, they're wrestling in the background, my boys. Maybe fighting. Sounds like they're laughing. Could end in tears. Give me a thumbs up emoji if you feel me about your kids. And wrestling, that ends up in tears. Does that happen to you? Let me know in the comments. So, uh, anyway, you can see I got this baby put up. And... Yeah, let's just, I'm going to turn the camera around and kind of show you, but I feel so overwhelmed. Anyway, what I was saying is you ever get into a project and then it just gets messy before it gets better. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm overwhelmed. I did put a lot of the books away. Like I can actually sit down on this couch now, praise the Lord. But I'm going to turn you around and share what I've done. Here is still the mess of my homeschool room. And oh my gosh, I don't even want to look at it because it's stressing me out. So anyway, I, let me extend this. If you notice, the last video I shared with you, I had four of these and I had the extenders on the top. Uh, I like it, but because, I don't know. I, I switched it to this because I felt like it was making the room like too crowded looking. So I ended up putting three here and then I moved one of the shelves over there and then I just have the extensions on these ones and then the extensions that I have for these I'm just going to return and I still need to get doors. So I am, they were out of the doors when I purchased these so, which I hate because I don't like to look at things. I hate visual, I don't like clutter, and I hate looking at things. So that's why I love, love, love these so much. I love these, but they were just too small. And one thing I didn't like about these is when you put them together, there was like this little tiny like gap in between each one because if you see up here, it has this little thing. So there was like, you know, this much of a gap in between them. And I, I didn't like that, but I do love these so much. So I did keep all three of these because I love them and I'm going to sell these. Um, and I'm going to declutter because I have way too much stuff. So then over here is all of this stuff was in here minus like these books here. So I don't even know how I crammed all this in this thing, but this is pretty thick. And that's how I'm pretty sure I got all of it in there is because of how thick it is. Whereas these are not as thick, which is fine because I don't mind because this was just looking big and bulky. So I am going to get some doors for these. I don't think I can put a door on this. I think I read that you can't put it on this corner one. I'm going to try it though and see, but I don't, I don't think it's going to work out and I'm going to probably rearrange all of this again when I get the doors, but this is just, I needed to get it out of here so that this can go in the garage and already, even though it's visual clutter to me right now and I am looking at this and I hate looking at all this stuff, it does feel much better than this thing big and bulky out of my wall. And then I also moved this shelf over here and I had a homeschool cart, but this I moved here. I don't know if you guys care, but I ended up taking my uh, homeschool cart and using it as a laundry cart. I like it. Ugh, I'm really procrastinating this, you guys. I don't want to do this. I'm like, my whole body is sore from yesterday, building these bookshelves and then, you know, all the stuff. I would like to organize these books over here like my chapter books kind of by maybe genre or like if there's like history um chapter books in there like things that maybe could go for like middle ages or ancient times and stuff like that and kind of categorize it like that I did start doing a book system but y'all I have so many books it's overwhelming and this is what it looks like so far. If you can see here, I have started to kind of tab them all. I got this idea from Laura over at Ticket to Learning. She, oh my gosh, I just loved her system because I just have too many categories than just these. And she uses washi tape to determine them. And then I 
I'm going to put it down in a notebook. I think I have it somewhere. Actually, I think I ripped out the pages, but I'm going to like nicely put this in a thing or print it up or something. I don't know. She has like a whole awesome system of how she did her home home library and organized it and I was so inspired I'm like I need to do that because yeah you can put it in a an app too and then you can scan books and see if you already have them because I have definitely purchased books you guys have probably seen it on my channel multiple books <laughs> the same and then I get it and I'm like oh my gosh I think I already have this book and then I'm like kicking myself in the butt or I go to put it away and then I see that I have the book already and I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I do this? So, which when I was only paying like 37 cents for books, that's fine. But when I, you buy like a brand new book and then I'm like, oh, I already have that. Darn it. <laughs> as I built these Billy bookshelves and organized them in some way, shape, or form. But stay tuned for my upcoming video. Hopefully Ikea gets these doors in for these Billy bookshelves soon. When they do and I put them up and all that, I will do a whole nother video showing you like a tour of all the stuff, how I end up organizing it because Right now it looks like this, but this stuff is not going to stay here. I came up with a whole new plan so that I don't have all this clutter here. And I have more space for books. <laughs> As you all know, I got a problem. <laughs> anyway, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed day.